In an exclusive interview, Brittany Griner's wife tells us she is terrified about the, N uh, about the WNBA superstar fate. We spoke with Sherelle Griner yesterday. This was her first interview since Brittany Griner was sentenced to nine years in a Russian prison. She was arrested, you may recall, back in February at a Moscow airport after authorities found cannabis vape cartridges in her luggage. A Russian court will hear an appeal of her conviction later this month. Yesterday, the White House called the appeal another sham judicial proceeding and said President Biden is telling his administration to engage with the Russian government at all levels to bring Griner home immediately. So we went to Griner's home. She lives in Phoenix, where Sherelle told us it feels like her wife is stuck in a hostage situation. It's like a movie for me. I'm like, in no world did I ever thought, you know, our president and a foreign nation president would be sitting down having to discuss the freedom of my wife. And so to me, as much as everybody's telling me a different definition of what BG is, it feels to me as if she's a hostage. Mm -hmm. That must scare you. It terrifies me mm -hmm. because I mean, when you watch movies, like, sometimes those situations don't end well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they never get the person back. Sometimes... This is not a movie, though. Exactly. This and this is my yeah. life. And so I'm sitting there like, do we get her back? Do I ever get to see my wife again? Like, what happens here? The fact that everything's so unprecedented and everything's, like, changeable, I think, is a really good word. Like, I feel like every day I'm hearing something new. And so it's just kind of like, it's terrifying. Oh, boy, tomorrow we'll have more of our exclusive conversation with Sherelle Griner, including a story from her last conversation with Brittany after her sentencing. It left Sherelle very concerned and, as she said, crying in her bed for three days. Gail, um, she used the word terrified. Yes. Did you sense that she had any hope? Well, she has to have hope. She said, I don't have any choice but to have hope. I asked her, Nate, how are you still standing? How are you sitting here coherent? Think, think about this, too, guys. She was studying for the bar while all this is going on. She's, wow. She'll know in a couple weeks if she passed the bar. She said, I don't have any other choice mm, yeah. but to carry on and, and be the voice for my wife mm. and, and not lose hope. So, yes, she very much has hope. Well, she believes that, every, that, that levels at the highest level of our government are working on yeah. it. Well, the law means different things in this country. Exactly. Right, right about that. Exactly.